Hundreds of people gathered for a Sunday afternoon stroll. But these people have got more than just exercise on their minds. I'm protesting for the simple reason it's, this is nothing more than a blatant attack on the good people of Stoke-on-Trent who yet again are being dictated to by corporate management. We have a lot of obese people in Stoke-on-Trent, a lot of unfit people and a lot of people do come to Trentham to go around the shops but also take you know, a quick one mile walk around the lake. If they charge us £7 to walk around in the summer then I can guarantee that the majority of these people will not go. The people have got it in their own hands. It's people power which will alter what they think. The walk was organised through social networking site Facebook after Trentham Estate announced plans to bring in a new fee to walk around Trentham Lake. And certainly local people um, that use it on a regular basis, such as myself for dog walking, we come for the shops, you know, we come just, just to browse and wander, we come for food. Um, and we won't do it again. Even some councillors joined the protest. I think it's important to show solidarity in... Um in the challenge really to the five pound charge I think it puts it out of the reach of, of local people and the local people that I represent and it's you know, good to see a good show um, of support for this campaign uh, and I hope um, that Trenton Estates listens to what local people are actually saying about the project. But the sheer volume of walkers showed just how opposed people are to the new fees so why is the charge being brought in? We decided that we wanted the garden and the lake to be connected um, because historically that's how it always was. It was only five years ago that we decided to separate the garden and lake. Um, and it's part of encouraging more people to come and enjoy the whole of the garden and the lake together. And we just think it's the right way to move forward. Uh, it's, you know, it's obviously interesting that so many people have, are interested in Trentham and are concerned, but I do hope that people will realise that we are doing this for the, for the greater good of the whole of Trentham. Well, everyone's heading home now. The walk's taken about two and a half hours and everyone I've spoken to is completely opposed to the new charges. They suggested paying for the car park rather than the attraction. Whether Trenton Estate will listen remains to be seen. Michelle Kendall, Staffs Live.